If you're watching this video, you're probably somebody that has ADHD as an adult or you're a parent that has a kid with ADHD. And you've gone online wondering, okay, maybe since I have ADHD or if I have a kid that has ADHD, maybe there's some other natural treatments or supplements that I can take other than the medications. So you search online, you see all these different recommendations and not sure what does work and what does not. Well, I wanna make this video simple for you guys so far to break it down, simplify as far as what I've done as a doctor that has helped my patients and myself included. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. Hey everybody, if you are coming back, thank you for coming back and watching this video. But if you are new here, I am Dr. Legrand and I have ADHD and dyslexia. Grew up with it. And if for this channel, we actually focus on people with ADHD, giving you tips and tricks as far as what nutrition to implement, what alternate treatments, what other treatments that you can implement, as well as other strategies for helping for the academic challenges that come along with ADHD. So if you are new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you've been watching these videos and have not hit the subscribe button, just go ahead and hit it. And then, of course, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up as well as hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any other future videos. So diving right in, there is a lot of different types of supplements that you can actually implement. And I'm going to have to break this up into two parts to so two different videos. So I'll make sure to post that later on this week, the second part of this video. But the very first part, as far as when it comes to different symptoms that ADHD have, there's definitely the issues as far as memory, focus, paying attention. And then there's other things such as stress, anxiety, and sleep that can be an issue for people with ADHD. So today we're going to be focusing on what kind of supplements that you can implement as far as when it comes to helping with memory, focus, and attention for when you have ADHD. Today I'm not going to be talking about different vitamins and minerals. I actually already covered that topic on a video, and if you haven't checked out that video already, you could look at the link right above here to check out that video, or I'll leave it at the end of the video that you could check out. So diving right in, as far as these are the types of supplements that I find that have been helpful for myself, that I have used throughout my college years, that have helped me pay attention in school, be able to do perform better on exams, as well as just keep my stress levels down. But also these are things that I have helped implement with patients of mine that have also found these to be very beneficial. Now, just like with everything, before you implement any of these types of treatments, treatment plans, you have to check with your doctor first because a lot of these different types of supplements can interact with the medications if you are taking medications. So the very first supplement that I do recommend that could be very helpful is phosphatidylserine. This type of supplement is something that our brain does naturally do produce, but sometimes we might be hindrance in it. And what phosphatidylserine does, it does increase levels of dopamine. Now, as we do know, dopamine tends to be decreased in a lot of different mental illnesses, specifically ADHD. And that's where a lot of the medications do help is to increase those levels to help balance you know, as far as our mood, increase the dopamine, which can help with paying attention, focusing, and being in that activity of our brain activity where we need to be at. The next supplement is phosphatidylcholine. Now, just like phosphatidylserine, phosphatidylcholine does also help with memory and focus, but also can be helpful for muscle control. So if there is definitely having a hard time controlling your muscles, there's been some research that's shown that actually can help with hyperactivity a little bit, or at least having an inability to control over your muscles. The next supplement that I do highly recommend that I've used throughout my whole life as far as, as helping with my focus and paying attention is ginkgo biloba. So this Chinese herb is really powerful because what it does, it increases blood flow to the brain. So they have found that this can help people be able to pay attention more be alert. And that's why I still continue to take it has been really helpful for me. And a lot of people find this to be beneficial. The other supplement, also an herb that is very similar to ginkgo biloba is rosemary. So rosemary is an actual type of herb that does also increase blood flow to the brain. But what's nice about this is by taking this or actually using it as an essential oil to as in a diffuser while you're studying, it helps with people with while they're studying to be able to retain what they're learning. So I use this a lot to be able to help me retain things. And that's what they have found that people who use rosemary tend to retain things better versus if they did not. The last herb I wanna talk about is gotacula. So gotacula is an anxiolytic type of herb that does several different things. It does help with cognitive function, 
but it also does help with sleep and anxiety because it's an anxiolytic. So this kind of jumps into the topic that I will be talking on later in another video in my next video as far as what types of herbs that you can use if you have ADHD when it comes to helping with sleep, anxiety, and depression. So if you don't want to miss out on that video as far as when it, talking about those other herbs that can help with sleep, anxiety, and depression, go ahead and hit the subscribe button over here and then go ahead and check out our other videos on here about different nutrients and minerals that you can implement to help you with your ADHD. Until next time, this is Dr. Legrand signing out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye.